Kyrgyz or Kyrgyz slash KR is slash, natively slash, pronounced QZ or slash, pronounced QZ Tilly, is a Turkic language spoken by about 4 million people in Kyrgyzstan as well as China, Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Uzbekistan, Pakistan, and Russia. Kyrgyz is a member of the Kyrgyz Kipchak subgroup of the Kipchak languages, and modern day language convergence has resulted in an increasing degree of mutual intelligibility between Kyrgyz and Kazakh. Kyrgyz was originally written in the Turkic runes, gradually replaced by an Arabic alphabet, in use until 1928 in USSR, still in use in China. Between 1928 and 1940, the Latin based uniform Turkic alphabet was used. In 1940, due to general Soviet policy, a Cyrillic alphabet eventually became common and has remained so to this day, though some Kyrgyz still use the Arabic alphabet. When Kyrgyzstan became independent following the Soviet Union's collapse in 1991, there was a popular idea among some Kyrgyz people to make transition to the Latin alphabet, taking in mind a version closer to the Turkish alphabet, not the original alphabet of 1928-1940, but the plan has not been implemented yet. Prehistoric Roots The first people known certainly by the name Kyrgyz are mentioned in early medieval Chinese sources as northern neighbors and sometimes subjects of the Turkic steppe empire based in the area of Mongolia. The Kyrgyz people were involved in the international trade route system popularly known as the Silk Road no later than the late 8th century. By the time of the destruction of the Uyghur Empire in 840 CE, they spoke a Turkic language little different from Old Turkic and wrote it in the same runic script. After their victory over the Uyghurs the Kyrgyz did not occupy the Mongolian steppe, and their history for several centuries after this period is little known, though they are mentioned in medieval geographical works as living not far from their present location. Colonization In the period of Tsarist administration, 1876-1917, the Kazakhs and the Kyrgyz both were called Kyrgyz, with what are now the Kyrgyz subdenominated when necessary as Kara Kyrgyz Black Kyrgyz, alternatively known as the Great Kyrgyz. The modern Kyrgyz language did not have a standard written form until 1923, at which time an Arabic alphabet was introduced. That was changed to a Latin alphabet, developed by Kasim Tinastanov in 1928 and to a Cyrillic alphabet in 1940. In the years immediately following independence, Another change of alphabet was discussed, but the issue does not seem to generate the same passions in Kyrgyzstan that it does in other former Soviet republics, perhaps because the Kyrgyz Cyrillic alphabet is relatively simple and is particularly well suited to the language. Josip Broz Tito learned to speak Kyrgyz perfectly. Post-Soviet Dynamics In the early 1990s, the Akayev government pursued an aggressive policy of introducing Kyrgyz as the official language forcing the remaining European population to use Kyrgyz in most public situations. Public pressure to enforce this change was sufficiently strong that a Russian member of President Akayev's staff created a public scandal in 1992 by threatening to resign to dramatize the pressure for Kyrgyzification of the non-native population. A 1992 law called for the conduct of all public business to be converted fully to Kyrgyz by 1997. But in March 1996, Kyrgyzstan's parliament adopted a resolution making Russian an official language alongside Kyrgyz and marking a reversal of earlier sentiment. Substantial pressure from Russia was a strong factor in this change, which was part of a general rapprochement with Russia urged by Akayev.